Okay, so I'm just going to give you a quick look at my mod setup on this game. Um, right now, I have more mods showing than I have actually uh, running. I'm running more companions, which allows you to have one human, one robot, and one dog companion. I'm running the HUD framework. I'm running Sim Settlements, Revolution, Salvage Beacons, the actual Sim Settlements. I'm running... Uh, I'm also running Vault... Uh, 1080, uh, the K9 Tactical Body Armor, uh, I'm running Vivid Waters, I am not running uh, Commonwealth or uh, Tales from the Commonwealth or um, Fallout 4 HD Reworked, I'm not running Vivid uh, Weathers, um, I'm running Enhanced Gameplay, um, and I'm running Visible Companion Affinity, and I'm running the official Fallout 4 patch, I always run the official Fallout 4 patch. Um, there are a few other mods I'm running that are not installed directly through the game. Those I will try to put uh, in the description below. But that is a quick overview of the mods I'm running. And I'm getting ready to start a brand new game. Of Fallout 4. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war, war never changes.
War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna change the sex for a moment. Hey, my turn, big guy. Mainly because this is not my wife. My wife does not look like that. So, my wife looks like this. However, she has different hair. No, 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 no. She's the public defender, but she's going to have Jesus Christ, these hairstyles are horrible. Uh, let's go with elegant. Wow, your hair looks great. That's my wife. Now let's go Let back me to just me. Slide in here. Now, a little bit you should understand about this character that I'm about to play is, according to the, the base story, Nate, the main character, the male main character, is a former soldier, whereas Nora, the woman, is a, uh, I believe she's a, she's a, I know she's a soldier. Not, I'm sorry, not a soldier. She's a, uh, she's a lawyer. Hmm, this new haircut's really working for me. Alright, so I'm gonna go with that. I am going to get rid of the facial hair. Ooh, scruff. Very right. manly. Okay, and, uh, let's go back. And we're gonna go with uh, the body. And so my version of Nate is not just a former soldier. My version of Nate is literally the single deadliest special ops soldier that ever lived. Cancel. Um, extras. Markings, blemishes, and damage. Just take damage away, and I don't want any scars. Uh, how do I take them away? Not bad. Not bad. Remove all. Remove all. Blemishes. Cancel. Markings. Cancel. Okay. And what else? Uh, what are the extras? Markings, extras, blemishes. Uh, let's go with body. Okay. I thought that there was other things I could do. There aren't. Um, so this is going to be Nate. Special, uh, special operative, uh, not just any special operative, but like I said, the deadliest there has ever been. Ah, and I want to turn this radio off. Because that song is probably copyrighted. One of the big things about this game is that the most of the music is copyrighted. And so if you're making a YouTube video, it means that almost every time you walk past the radio... Ah, good morning, sir. Your coffee. 173.5 degree Fahrenheit. Room to perfection. Thanks, God's word. Today's newspaper just delivered. Your radio, your, every time you walk past the radio, you're going to get a copyright hit on your video. And I've had a few of them in my Fallout 3 playthrough. Kind of sucks. So, it basically just means that you can't monetize your video. And if you're doing this and trying to monetize your videos, 
it sucks. So eventually, I'm gonna try and find a mod that automatically turns off all. Thanks, Codsworth. You know, I was nervous at first, but Codsworth's really good with Sean. Yeah, he is. Um, what is this? Wow, okay, I'm walking on the couch. This is Nora's law degree. I'm so proud of her. And this is my American flag. Good old USA. Of course, the flag in that form, actually in the U.S., signifies that that is a flag that was draped over the coffin of a loved one. You don't just, that's not the normal way you keep a flag in the U.S. This is commemorative of the of a dead loved one. The hell? Okay. Can you get that? It's probably that salesman. He comes for you every day. Let's talk to him then. Good morning, vault -Tec calling. Uh, vault -Tec? vault -Tec? Remind me again? Why, we're about you, sir and helping secure your future. You see, vault is the foremost builder of state-of-the-art underground fallout shelters. Vaults, if you will. Luxury accommodations where you can wait out the horrors of nuclear devastation. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. Glad you're here, then. Then I'm glad you caught up with me. Oh, me too. You have no idea. Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a, uh, mm -hmm, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault. One eleven. Uh, sounds great. Sounds great. Oh, it is. Believe you me. Now, you're already cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of uh, total atomic annihilation. <laughs> I just need to verify some information. That's all. Let's do it. Sure, let's do it. Splendid. Splendid. Now. Uh, let's see. All right. A um, couple of things. First of all, you'll notice that I have a lot of skill points. The reason why I have so many skill points is because I'm actually running a mod that gives me this many skill points. And the reason why I'm running that mod is partly because, like I said, my character is supposed to be... He's not just um, a special ops soldier. He's actually the result of a sort of a soft eugenics project whereby since world war ii the united states army and other sources have actually been encouraging of the top military families to intermingle and marry and in a few cases that has resulted 200 years later, well, not 200 years later, but uh, about 100 years later, um, 130 years later, 120 years later, um, in near super soldier level dudes. So, you know what? I'm actually going to name him Ed after myself. I wasn't going to, but I am going to name him Ed. Okay, and I will accept that. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just going to walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Mr. Sean has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that paternal affection you seem to be so good at. Fine. You heard Codsworth. Go on. Mr. 
Mr. Ed, if I may, Sean requires your personal attention. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. He needs his father after all. How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. Hey, how's my little guy? Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Wow, your eyes are really red. Have you been smoking weed? Yeah, sounds like fun. Sir? Mom? You should come and see this! Codsworth? What's wrong? Go see. Let's find out. Okay. Followed by... Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes. Sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with say? our affiliate stations. We do, oh, we no. do have, we do have coming in. That's um, confirmed reports. I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Oh my God. We, we need to get to the vault now. I've got Sean. Let's go. All right, come on, hon. Residents of Sanctuary Hills. If you are registered, evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. I should be up there with them. On the list infant adult male adult female okay go ahead Thank right. you. Are you good luck man dude you're Thank like god let's go let us you two follow me come on what's yeah. gonna happen to all those people outside We're doing the gate everything we can now keep moving all right step on the platform in the center after you hunt I'm not getting on without my wife and kid. All right, let's go. Almost there. We're gonna be okay. I love you, both of you. We love you too. Oh my God! Hold on! We did it. We made it. We're okay. Everyone, please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better future underground. So we just. Yes, up the stairs. Why is it leaking? Believe it. If we left a minute later. No, no, we don't. Don't get caught up thinking about that. You're safe now. It wasn't raining. Is, is this vault located underneath the river? Welcome home. This way. Male. This way, please. Female and a sword. Good. Step over to the table and take a suit. Just this way. You'll need your suits before we can take Welcome. you further. Okay. Pick up a suit uh, right over there. Thanks. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. All right, go ahead, dude. See? This is our new home. Oh, you're gonna love it here. Right. This is one of our most advanced right facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. Over there. Take a suit. All right, dude. You, you can keep walking. Our home. Everything we had. Sir? My mother and father down in D.C. How? How long do you think we'll be down here? Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. 
Just a few medical items we have to get through first. The bulb suit is designed to be fashionable as well as comfortable. Prepared for the future, right? Just step in here and put your vault suit on. Who's my little guy? I'm not going far. I'll just be over there. There he is. See? Daddy's not going far. All set? Just step inside and put on your vault suit. You all right? Go ahead. I just want to give Sean a moment. Okay. You got it, babe. Who the hell are you? Like this. The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. Time for a whole new life. Resident secure. Occupant vitals normal. Procedure complete. In five, four, three, two, one. That was no decontamination. woke up by doing that. Should have just given him the kid. Come on, come on, come on! We could have, oh God! We could have found Sean together after. I'll find who did this, and I'll get Sean back. I promise. And the person who did this is going to die.
am I looking at? Alright, I've got a weapon. is designed to test the long-term effects of suspended animation on unaware human subjects. Security staff are responsible for maintaining the installation integrity and mon monitoring the sta science staff activity. Under no circumstances are staff allowed to deviate from the assigned duties. Insubordination or interference with vault operations are capital offenses. Security staff are authorized to use lethal force. Right. Okay. Operations Protocol Manual. Resident admittance. Upon activation notice from Voltec, all personnel are required to report to the facility to the entry area and assist with ad admittance of Vault residents. Security personnel will maintain order and ensure that no personnel or residents attempt to evacuate the Vault. Research staff will be responsible for residents' intake and escort each to the designated cryogenic pod. Residents not accounted for in the manifest should be asked to step aside and detain forcibly forcefully by security if necessary. Once all residents have been sealed into their pr preservation chambers, dispose of any detainees. Vault entryway must remain sealed under any circumstances. Dispose of. Got it. Staff duties. Science staff. Members of the research team must, delay, must daily monitor the vital signs of cryogenically preserved residents. Cardiopulmonary and cognitive activity in particular must be recorded hourly. Life-saving intervention is only permitted if greater than 80% of the resident population has perished while in cryogenic suspension and must not interrupt suspension. Independent research is encouraged and left to the overseer's discretion. Security personnel. Security patrols are to be carried out on a constant eight-hour rotation. Security priorities include monitoring for signs of intrusion, checking for atmosphere leaks, settling disputes among personnel, enforcement, enforcement of regulations set forth by the overseer, enforcement of regulations set forth by vault -Tec. Faculty services and maintenance. Due to the nature of Vault 111, Personnel will be expected to perform duties outside of their normal qualifications, such as janitorial duties and food preparation. The exact distribu distribution of these roles is left to the overseer discretion. Okay. All clear and evacuation. All clear message. Following a nuclear event, vault -Tec will monitor hazards such as radiation levels, enemy invasion, subsequent attacks, and other factors. Once conditions are deemed safe, this terminal will receive an all-clear notice. Upon receiving the all-clear notice, vault -Tec personnel may be evacuated at overseer discretion. Disregard any notices from organizations or individuals not associated with the vault -Tec, including government and military. Residents are not to be disrupted or evacuated. vault -Tec will attend to their needs remotely once Vault 111 is evacuated. Uh-huh. Okay. Mandatory shelter period. Vault 111 is classified as a short-term assignment. Non-resident personnel are expected to carry out research duties and basic maintenance of the vault while awaiting the all-clear signal to evacuate. In the absence of an all-clear message from vault Tech, the overseer may elect to evacu evacuate staff after a mandatory shelter period of 180 days of containment. Under no circumstances may Vault 111 staff evacuate during this shelter period unless receiving an all-clear message from vault Tech. Alright. Security logs. Okay. God, it's finally happened. The world is over. Barely got all the residents inside. Not everyone made it. Now it's just us and the icebergs. I don't get it. Eggheads tried to explain to me that keeping them frozen is a big experiment for a better future or something. I don't know. It just doesn't seem right that we are smiling at them all the time um, before putting them on ice. Should we have told them something? Yes, you should have. 
Christmas Underground, got together with the rest of the security boys and support staff and had a little uh, party. Best gift that got handed out was a fancy lad snack cake that wasn't too stale. One of the scientists came. Overseer wasn't there either. I don't, none of the scientists came. I just don't get them. They hiding something from us? Another company secret for only the higher ups? Whatever, just a few more months until the all clear is supposed to come through. Then we can start rebuilding. Only a few weeks left on our mandatory shelter period. Everyone's getting stir crazy. Some people are even saying that the all clear signal is never coming. We can't stay here much longer, that's for sure. It's not just the fact that I've been staring at the same brick room and bunk bed for over six months. It's the fact that we only have enough food left for another few months tops. The overseer keeps telling everyone to be patient, focus on work. He's definitely keeping us out of the loop. Something bad is going on, I just know it. The main door accessing the vault exit is malfunctioning. Now the only way out is through the overseer's evacuation tunnel. How convenient for him. He has one of the science team watching the door into his office at all times for, from a little makeshift checkpoint. Got invited to a meeting tonight. Support staff is in security only. Sounds like I'm not the only one with an axe to grind. No all clear from vault tech is coming. We need to leave. We're all but out of food. I almost murdered Stanley for dropping a damn salt cracker on the floor. A handful of us confronted the overseer about opening up the vault. I never, never, never knew a man that small could shout so loud. Now he's locked himself in his office along with the rest of the science staff. We're supposed to hand over any food, weapons, and medicine we have by tonight or there's going to be consequences. I've talked to everyone. It's time. One way or another, we're getting out of this vault. Yeah. Something tells me you didn't. Take... Okay, uh, okay, no, that's not something I wanted, um, I'm out. Take the cup, alright, I guess we're going through. Gotta remember, some of these buttons are reversed from what they were in Fallout 3, and I've been playing Fallout 3 for a month or two. <laughs> also gotta get used to the fact that Giant roaches? Yeah, giant roaches. What the hell? Exactly. I gotta get used to the to the fact that uh, Vats doesn't stop the game anymore. It just slows it down. Sort of bullet times everything. Alright. I remember now. I don't think there's anything in here. It's just a big tempty room. Alright. I do remember you take everything in Fallout 4. Recreational terminal. Okay, Overseer Memo. Remember, use of this recreational terminal is a privilege. If work performance declines, this privilege will be revoked. Enjoy responsibly. Okay. Alright, we're going to get out of here.
day. All right. What happened here? Where is everyone? Got to do something. Let me do it now. Settings, gameplay, difficulty, very hard. Very hard. Okay. And also, I'm going to save. Quick save. Is this all that's left? Overseer's instructions. Vault 111 is designed to test the law term, blah, blah, blah. Your staff will be on short-term assignment to, to monitor basic cardiopulmonary and cognitive functions. Long-term monitoring will be handled remotely by Vault Tech technicians. Okay, kind of got that already. Cryo later. I've long dreamed of making cryogenic freezing available as a portable on demand form. The cryolator is my latest attempt. Thankfully, we're in no short supply of chemicals and components I need to tinker with the prototype. It's a nice way to occupy time as we wait for the all clear. Operations protocol, I read that. Overseer's log. Okay, Overseer's log is going to be different. Preps. The final staff orientation is complete, and all but a few of the residents down in Sanctuary Hills have been enrolled, and several from Concord as well. vault -Tech supervisors came up this week to do a technical review with me. This vault is ready to open. I can only imagine what wonders our residents will get to witness. The notion of leaping forward in time, I almost wish I could join them and see the promise of our future realized. Promise. Not really. It's happened. We're lucky that most of the staff was nearby when... The early warning came. We had less notice than expected, but only Norhagen was missing when we sealed the entrance. Resident admittance went smoothly. Everyone made it, even the family that waited until the last minute. That would be me. I was worried there would be more suspicion, but things happened so fast for these people. They must have been too overwhelmed to question the cryogenic pods. Not really. Um, systems malfunction. Strange issue today with pod C3. Subject appeared to be having heart palpitations. Nothing life-threatening, but unusual. We realized almost too late that the pod was malfunctioning. The cryogenic array almost started throwing her out. We're not sure, but I suspect a hiccup in vault Tech's remote override system may have sent an errant signal. We'll have to keep an eye out. I only hope their systems are reliable once we evacuate the staff. Supplies running low. There's been no all-clear signal yet, even though we're running... We're nearing the end of the 180-day mandatory shelter period. Supplies were never intended to last much more than that. And despite my best efforts, people are beginning to question what we're doing down here. If people think we can just leave when the 180 days are up, they're insane. The radioactive exposure will still be potent enough to fry anyone if the vault seals are breached that early. The whole point of the all clear was to receive additional instructions from the main office. I don't know what to do. I can't open the vault. I just can't expect our supplies to last forever. I just have to keep everything under control until the all clear. Mutiny. A faction led by the security personnel have turned on me, depending, demanding they be allowed to leave the vault. Idiots, I will not open the door to be irradiated to death out there. I am consolidating the remaining supplies, putting the staff on lockdown. We're going to have to start prioritizing who deserves what little food we have left. I've been too damn generous with rations. If people don't like it, well, that's fewer mouths to feed. Scum bag. All right. Okay, uh...
Come on then. Okay, I probably could have done with uh, actually shooting them, but there was a reason why I was kind of preserving ammo, but I'm not sure it was worth the amount of damage I took. Not quite ready to go. Oh, God. Some ammo. Jumpsuit, okay. And I actually realized I just forgot, I forgot to do something. I just totally spaced a couple of things. That's everything. Must be under the river.
right. Okay, the neighborhood looks a little different than the last time I saw it. things before I talk to Codsworth. Excellent. Now I'm not going to go too crazy with that. I'm going to do that later. But I do need to get in here. Okay, I'm going to improve one ability score and bring it all the way up to 10. Um... Right now, that's going to be intelligence, because I'm going to get the most out of that. Okay. All right, let's talk to Codsworth. She's in a better place. 
Sir, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, I, I believe you need a distraction. No, yes, I don't. A distraction to calm this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or perhaps charades. Sean does so love that game. Really? <laughs> Is the lad uh, with you? Sean's been kidnapped. But I'm going to find him. I'm going to get my son back. It's worse than I thought. <clears throat> You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. Did you just call me hangry? Doesn't matter how long it's been. I feel fine. A, a bit over 210, actually, sir. Or oh, give or take a little. For the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> That means you're, uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack? <laughs> you must be famished. Codsworth, you're acting... a little bit weird. What's wrong? I... I... Oh, sir, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets out nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> nothing! And don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house. <laughs> and the car, the car, how do you polish rust? Stay with me, buddy. Stay with me, pal. Focus. I'm afraid I don't know anything, sir. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were... dead. I did find this hollow tape. I, I believe the missus was going to present it to you as a, as a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. A hollow tape? What's on it? I believe it's a private message for you. My etiquette protocols would not permit me to play it for myself. Any standard holotape reading device should be able to play it back. Oh, like that Pip-Boy on your arm. That should work brilliantly. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? The Mrs. and young Sean may turn up yet. All right. Lead the way. Round two serves, sir. What's all? Hey, Codsworth. Mr. Ed, don't worry. My search protocols are on full alert. Right. Caution, sir. I do believe some found you.
family isn't real either. They're really gone, aren't they? It's okay, dude. Thanks for trying, Codsworth. You can't give up, sir. Oh, I'm not. What about the city? Concord is nearby, and, well, the people there have only shot at me a few times. There's still people alive in Concord? Yes, although they're a bit rough. You remember the way? Just across the southern footbridge out of the neighborhood and past the Red Rocket Station? I shall remain here and secure the home. Okay, so, I am going to do Concord, but that is a story for another day. However, I'm also going to, off camera, search and loot the entire town of Sanctuary. So, when you get back, Sanctuary will be completely looted, and then I will be heading, on camera, I will be heading to, towards Concord. <laughs> 